With a huge fan base all around the world and six movies so far, we can't help but wonder, is this the beginning of a new Terminator trilogy? Soon after Terminator Dark Fate information began to circulate, fans found themselves with more questions than answers. The question of why the human race is still in danger was raised because Dark Fate intended to ignore everything in the Terminator franchise that came after 1991's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. How was Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator still alive at the end of Terminator 2 when he volunteered to be melted down? Where was John Connor, the human race's savior? If you've seen Dark Fate, you already know all the answers, but even so, those answers raise additional questions. It's partly the way things are, I suppose. There isn't much that can happen when time travel is involved. And with so many possibilities available, it's simple to fill the air with discussions. A new evil Terminator model called the Rev-9 has been sent from the future to murder Daniela, a Mexican woman. Fortunately, someone had also sent Grace, a bionic woman, back in time to serve as her protector. In addition, Sarah Connor appears determined to kill every Terminator she encounters in revenge for the death of her son John, who was killed in the opening scene of the movie in a matter of seconds. The three who are seeking help from a mysterious stranger struggle to get to Texas, where they learn that the stranger is none other than the original Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator Model T-800, who murdered John in the first place. Essentially, every action scene after Terminator Dark Fate is taken from an earlier Terminator movie that is, in some ways, thematically appropriate. The details of the feature are different, but the outline is the same, just as the details of Dark Fate are different from the previous films, even though the plot is still the same. And although Sarah successfully destroyed Skynet in T2, we learned that it was simply replaced by a new AI called Legion. Long story short, more Terminator films are almost certainly in the works at this point because, as previously stated, the purpose of Dark Fate was due. The time John sent you to it no longer exists. Everything's changed. James Cameron left the Terminator franchise because he didn't own the underlying intellectual property. After regaining ownership of the Terminator movie rights, he expressed interest in returning, but from the beginning, Cameron has been adamant that his plan wasn't just to make one more movie, a farewell to a beloved franchise, rather he started to plan out a three-film arc that reinvented the series. All of this suggests that, even though the sequels haven't been formally announced, Cameron is probably confident in getting the go-ahead for them. According to the franchise's standard timeline, there has always been a four to six year gap between each Terminator movie. In terms of the most recent two Terminator motion pictures, Terminator Genesis came out in 2015, while Terminator Dark Fate debuted in 2019. According to this theory, Terminator 7 should be released the following year, most likely in late 2023. However, Terminator 7 filming has not yet started. Before we go any further, we want to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. The fans out there are concerned about this. Whether Terminator 6 was the final installment in the series is a subject of debate, on this specific theory, there are various viewpoints. According to our sources, the franchise intends to remake Terminator 7. In fact, some claim that Terminator 7 will be the series' final installment. However, the release date of Terminator 7 may also be delayed to 2024 or 2025 since filming has not yet started. The focus of Salvation was on John Connor and Kyle Reese, Sarah, John, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's T-800 appeared in Genesis. Cameron Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton all returned in Dark Fate. As much as some enjoy Dark Fate, it's obvious that trying to capitalize on what previously worked isn't enough to get audiences to see a Terminator movie these days. Arnold Schwarzenegger discussed the possibility of making another appearance after the sixth film during the promotion for Terminator Dark Fate. It's impossible to say today because every single time I die in a Terminator movie and somehow they always figure out to bring me back, so I have no idea. It's one of my favorite characters that I've played, he said. Cameron had always envisioned Terminator Dark Fate as a passing of the torch to some new stars, and by the end of the film, it's clear who those stars will be. It's expected that Linda Hamilton will reprise her role as Sarah Connor, who is now free to carry out her destiny, introducing Natalia Reyes' character, Danny Ramos, a future leader of the human resistance. Legion, the future's new AI tyrant, will undoubtedly keep sending Terminators back in time to kill Danny to change the course of history. Sarah and Danny won't get a heads up from Carl this time, though. Just in case you weren't sure that the franchise was looking to introduce new faces, Dark Fate picks up right after the events of T2, but it begins with the death of John Connor, one of the film's main protagonists who dies at the hands of a remaining T-800, 
Following the events of the previous films, Skynet vanished and yet humans managed to create a new AI designed for cyber warfare that turned against them. This new John Connor is introduced in the form of Danny Ramos, the future leader of the human resistance against another AI apocalyptic threat, Legion. Arnold Schwarzenegger's involvement with the Terminator franchise appears to be coming to an end with Carl, the T-800 who sells draperies. Carl makes the same sacrifice the T-800 did at the end of Terminator 2 to ensure that Rev-9 is defeated. It sounds like he's telling us the same thing when he says he told his family he won't be back. Aside from that, Schwarzenegger is past his prime as a killer android and is now in his 70s. But you never know, Schwarzenegger isn't getting any younger, but if Harrison Ford, who is in his late 70s, can keep robbing tombs, Arnold can fight cyborgs for a few more years if he wants to. The opportunity for Schwarzenegger's comeback is left open by Terminator Dark Fate. According to Dark Fate, Skynet sent at least one more Terminator to 1991 during the events of Terminator 2, and there is no reason to believe that it couldn't have sent more. Not to mention, based on the text Carl has sent Sarah over the years, warning her of Terminator infiltration, Legion was sending additional cyborgs to the present, and there is no way to be certain that Sarah got them all. In the initial draft of the script for Terminator Salvation, Marcus, who has spent the majority of the film searching for John Connor, a character who was largely unseen and around whom the plot revolved, is accidentally revealed to be an android near the film's end. This is all wrong. John sent me here to save you. From the Terminator that was sent back to kill me, I know, but we already took care of him. We. As of that moment, Marcus appears to be just another member of the human resistance, depending on John to save the human race. This shocking revelation completely rewrites the character's motivations. It's also a twist that the finished story badly misleads by introducing Connor earlier and giving the audience the story of Marcus's origins before the third act even starts then skipping over his shock and agony by switching back to Connor's point of view. However, a new Terminator movie could and should incorporate this concept and give it a real focus this time around, as it has rich dramatic potential. According to James Cameron, the movie's later installments will center on the evolution of the bond between humanity and artificial intelligence, and because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. All of the various theories, however, center on the fact that while some claim that the story will continue where the last one left off, others assert that everything will be changed and that the story will now be a horror one. Since nothing has been confirmed as of yet, we can only assume that the final Terminator film will be magnificent and outstanding. There will be a lot of roller coaster rides. Prepare to be stunned. See you in the next video.